dare steal in my presence? That will cost you your life! Help me! Somebody help me! You dare steal in my presence? That will cost you your life! Let go of me! I've done nothing wrong! Thief! You are filth! Why are you doing this? What have I done? Thief! You are filth! You're a dead man! That's already done! I'll have your hand for that! Please, someone, do something! Die, thief! Let me go! You dare steal in my presence? What do that you want? will cost you your life! Thief! You are filth! <laughs> Why are you doing this to me? I've got no oh. I'll have you. your hand! and leader saw to it What's that the merchant here? was repaid a thousand times. None know the man better than I. Come close. Hear the tale I have to tell of a merchant prince without peer. None know the man better than I. Come close. Hear the tale I have to tell of a merchant prince without peer. Some say, were it not for Tamir, Salah men would have surely turned on him. Could be we won the battle because of that man. Quite a bit about Tamir. Tell me what he's planning. I know only the stories I tell, nothing more. A pity. 
There's no reason to let you live if you've nothing to offer in return. Wait, wait! There is one thing. Continue. He is preoccupied as of late. He oversees the production of many, many weapons. What of it? They're meant for Salah ad -Din. This does not help me, which means it does not help you. No, stop, listen! Not Salah ad -Din. They're for someone else. The crests these arms bear, they are different, unfamiliar. It seems Tamir supports another, but I know not who. Is that all? Yes, yes. I've told you everything I know. Then it's time for you to rest. <laughs> Safety and peace, Altair. I trust you are looking for information to aid you in your strike against Tamir. I fear I have nothing to offer. But uh, Bahir might. He shouldn't be too far from here. My presence? That will cost you your life! Help me! I'll have your head! God favor me! You're not in! You're not in now! Infinite! No chance! God is on my side! God favor me! You will never win!
your eyes. Now comes the English king and his infidel army. They leave horrors in their wake. So they've sent you, eh? An interesting choice, though not my place to judge. The Rafik has asked me to observe the souk that Tamir calls home. Here's what I have learned. There's a group of troublemakers who gather around its southeastern exit. They and the guards do not get along. Find a way to earn their friendship, and they'll surely be of service to you. God yes, save him! Come, come. He's gone mad! Let me show you everything I have. I'm telling you, it's rats! No, it's children! I hear them laughing! Rats or children? Either way, it's bad for business. All that noise! Someone needs to get up on those beams and clear them out. I wonder how they're getting up there. Must be through the central courtyard. Then we should ask the guard to have a look. Ah, they're all much too busy polishing the backside of their master.
Where is the one responsible? Which is why you've come to me. You there? Yes, you! Come! Come! Come, come see you. what I have to offer! Everything's new! Everything perfectly priced! Come, come here, citizen! Come see what, what I have to offer! What is this? Need something? You need something? You need something? You need something? That won't Russian happen to you! You are why? Which is why you've come to me. Come, people! Do you understand? Yes. I am to deliver the letter to your merchant friend. And you know who to see? The same man as always. Do not think to betray my presence in this city. We have many eyes, many ears. And many arms, yes. Good for silencing those who say too much. I know this well. You have my word. Good. Then be quick about it. Time is short. Tired of never finding anything useful at the other merchant stalls? That won't happen here. Something about your eye? Something to say? Why are you doing this? I have everything you ever done nothing need. Wrong. Dirty thieves! I'll have your hands for that. You want something? Please help me! Ale!
matter of time before someone else discovers it. Tell him then, it's in his best interest to keep the souk secure. He won't meet with me. Too busy with this new deal of his. And the guards? Tried already. They won't lift a finger unless the order comes from him. Then what will you do? I'll go to Abu Nukud. The merchant king? <laughs> he won't see you. He doesn't have to. I've written him a letter that explains the problem. He can read it and decide for himself.
Altair, I need your help. I took something from one of Tamir's men, and now they're after me. Please, see me to safety, and I'll share it with you. We are safe now. I can manage on my own from here. Take this. Hopefully it will aid you in your mission. Seems to be an invitation of sorts. Still in my presence? That will cost you your life! Die, thief! 
What is it? Death to the infidel! Show yourself. I'll have your hand for that. That hurts. Stop it, please. Good idea. Never heard of someone do that before. Won't anyone help me? You need me? something? That hurts. Stop it, please. You dare steal in my presence? That will cost you your life. You something to say? People, go <laughs> see what I have to what offer. That fool you doing? won't believe your eyes. <laughs> Finest wares in all the land. <laughs> Someone should stop him before he hurts himself. I stand before you to deliver a warning. I am at your service. I think I've seen everything now. Strength to stand in defense of our great civilization. 
Make no mistake. It is our very existence. Thief! You are filth! Please, help Make me! Make room. Please, <laughs> do something. Way ha. All right, it's the den! It's the den, die! He cannot run forever! <laughs> Thank you. 
Altair, welcome! Welcome! I've done what you asked. Now give me the marker. First things first. Tell me what you know. Tamir rules over the Souk El Salah. He makes his fortune selling arms and armor and is supported by many in this endeavor. Blacksmiths, traders, financiers. He's the largest death dealer in the land. And have you devised a way to rid us of this blight? A meeting is being arranged at Souk El Salah to discuss an important sale. They say it's the largest deal Tamir has ever made. He'll be distracted with his work. That's when I'll strike. Your plan seems solid enough. I give you leave to go. Let al Mualim's will be done. You may rest here until you are ready. Did you see that? Why would he do that? Have he gone mad?
You are not allowed to be here. Leave. My good people, your search has come to an end. Time. This is the excuse of a lazy or incompetent man. Which are you? Neither. What I see says otherwise. Now, tell me, what do you intend to do to solve this problem of ours? These weapons are needed now. I see no solution. The men work day and night, but your client requires so much, and the destination. It is a difficult route. Were it that you could produce weapons with the same skill as you produce excuses? I have done all I can. It is not enough. Then perhaps you ask too much. Too much? I gave you everything. Without me, you would still be charming serpents for coin. All I ask in return was you fill the orders I bring you. And you say I ask too much? <coughs> you dare disrespect me? Peace, Tamir. I meant no insult. Then you should have kept your mouth shut. No, stop! Stop? <laughs> I'm just getting started. No! Stop! You came into my souk, stood before my men, and dared to insult me? <laughs> No. Leave the body. Let this be a lesson to the rest of you. Think twice before you tell me something cannot be done. Now get back to work. You're the one pays now, my friend. You'll not profit from suffering any longer. You think me some petty death dealer, suckling at the breast of war? A strange target, don't you think? Why me, when so many others do the same? You believe yourself different, then. Oh, but I am. For I serve a far nobler cause than mere profit. Just like my brothers. Brothers? Ah. But he thinks I act alone. I am but a piece. A man with a part to play. You'll come to know the others soon enough. They won't take kindly to what you've done. Good. I look forward to ending their lives as well. Such pride. It will destroy you, child.
has reached me of your victory, Altair. You have my gratitude and my respect. Thank you. It is a shame that the other assassins continue to hold you in such poor regard. Rafiq, I do not care what the others think of me. As you wish, Altair. You should bring news of your victory to al Malib. I'm certain he has more work for you to do. Fast forwarding memory to a more recent one. Machine, Mr. Miles. What's the matter, Doc? Miss Stillman is once again insisting I let you rest. So, feel like telling me who put the stick up his ass? We have a deadline. One week. Well, Six days now. Deadline? I can't talk about it. Man, put yourself in my shoes. I'm being held hostage by a group of scientists, at least I think you're scientists, and forced to spend all day in some crazy-ass machine. You won't tell me what you're looking for or why you want it, but I'm supposed to be thanking you for keeping me alive. This is so fucked. Sorry, but it is. What do you want me to do? Hmm, let's see, I don't know. Maybe give me some answers? I can't. And it's better this way. Safer. Safer for who? Both of us. Hey, you know what? I've got a question I think you can actually answer. What's up? Why is it that sometimes the guys in there talk like they're from the future? The future? I mean the present. Now, today, whatever. You've probably noticed that English has become the official language of the Holy Land. Yeah, I was gonna say. The Animus is translating speech it deems vital into more modern English, so expect a few anachronisms. I could probably make it more authentic, but... You ever read Chaucer? Who? Yeah, 
definitely not for you. Can you tell me more about Abstergo? What goes on here? Beyond the whole keeping me prisoner thing. Abstergo is one of the largest pharmaceutical companies in the world. Their primary focus is antidepressants. There's some information on the computer over there. But you already said this isn't about testing a drug. So what's the deal? I don't like where this is going. So it's safe to assume the Animus is not a part of their public face. What, you haven't seen the commercials? Oh my god. She has a sense of humor. I'm sorry, Desmond. I've got a lot of work to do. Like I said, if you want to know more about the company, take a look at the computer. The telecommunication stuff is particularly interesting. Aren't you tired? Can't talk, gotta work. Man, I can't even change my clothes.
Let's go, Mr. Miles. Time's wasting. Where's Lucy? Oh, don't worry. She'll be with us soon enough. So why are you doing all this, Doc? What are you hoping to accomplish? You turn the television on lately? Read the newspaper? Never cared much for that stuff. Then, let me sum it up for you. The world's a mess. It's pathetic, really. You've seen it firsthand yourself. A thousand years between you and your ancestor, and society remains just as barbaric, just as stupid. And your point is... Order, Mr. Miles. The world needs order. That is what we're working towards, and that is what you're helping us to achieve. <laughs> you expect me to believe you're building a better tomorrow? That's exactly what we're doing. The human race calls out for direction. They want to know why they're here, what they're meant to do. Well, we're going to tell them. And once they understand how to live their lives, everything will be better. Better how? An end to all conflicts, large and small. Isn't that what you assassins strive for? Peace in all things? I told you, I'm not an assassin. Right, right. I still don't see where I fit into things. In time, Mr. Miles. In time, you'll understand. Or you won't. I don't care either way, as long as you show us where it is. Where what is? Sorry I'm late. Ready to go? Yes, we are. Lay back. We'll take care of the rest. Use the action view to gather information about you. 